What is up guys? Razor here. And welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. In the previous episode we took on Ultima Weapon at the Deep Sea Research Laboratory. And we obtained Eden. And we also obtained the Eden card which completed our collection of cards. So we got every card we did every side quest. So there's only one thing left to do now. And that's head to Ultima Sea's Castle. That's where we're headed right now. So let's see if we can find the portal to get over there. Right here it is. Turn on no random encounters. Save the game, because why not? Now we need to jump over there to the chain, make our way over to the castle. Oh, there's no save point there too. That's all, the, the whole party made it. Finally, the final dungeon of the game. Yep. Alright, so we're going to divide into two parties. Uh, similar to Final Fantasy VI. And I think you do that in other Final Fantasies as well. Uh, even though my other characters are weak, it will be alright. Even if they're low level, they'll still have uh, plenty of powerful spells and stuff, so. Alright, so yeah, as soon as you enter here, your powers are sealed. So you can't use item, magic, GF, draw, command, ability, limit breaks, resurrection, or save. Uh, but as you beat bosses in this area, you'll get back some of your powers. So. It's honestly not that big of a deal. Uh, here you can switch to the other party if you want to. At that little, at that green thing, whatever it is. Uh, but if you head upstairs. It's boss time. Against Spinxar. So all we can do is attack. <laughs> so that's all we're going to do. That's not going to do a lot of damage at all. We have high spirit. Yeah, 27. Plus we have elemental resistance as well. thing has about 50,000 HP I think. Well maybe not. I thought it did. Oh it's not dead yet. What did it use? I didn't even see what it used. Oh summon. Okay cool. Let's just keep welding on the boss. I'm not really uh, worried about the other thing. Yeah we got it. It's not supposed to be hard though because all you have is the attack command. If they had made that boss hard, it would have been kind of ridiculous because all you have is attack. So they had to make it easy. So that makes sense. Like, could you imagine if that if that uh, boss right there was the super boss, it would be almost impossible to win. Anyway, for defeating it, you get a mega elixir, which is always welcome. Even though you can easily get a hundred of them if you card mod Bahamut. 
which I already did. Even though you don't even need 100, you, bar you barely, you probably only need, for the Super Bowls, you probably need about, I would say between two to five, I would say. Two is the minimum. And you'd have a, probably need up to five maybe at most. Unless you're unlucky. If you're unlucky, you may need more, but. Yeah, we already have a hundred. And since we got uh, Eden, we get AP now again. All right, now you can release a seal on uh, whatever you want. Uh, we'll do magic. Uh, I could have chose limit break, but here's the thing. If I'm gonna use Aura, I'm gonna need magic, so. Um, obviously limit break's just not a very good Choice there. I'll choose limit break next though for sure. Crap, I don't think I was supposed to fall there. I think we need to go back this way. I think this leads back if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. I wasn't supposed to fall there I don't think. You can change your party here as well. Okay, I did pick. I did go the right way. Okay, never mind. We're good. I thought I went the wrong way, but apparently not. We're in the right spot, which is good. And it's false time against try point. Using elemental attacks, whatever I don't use, I don't like. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention earlier, uh, but you want to get the draw command back if you didn't get the GFs earlier in the game. And hit counter attacks with that lightning attack that you just saw as well. That's a counter attack. Which means this boss could be pretty deadly if you don't have if you don't absorb lightning. Let's speed this up a little bit. Speed it up. Oh, tax takes too long to do, so. I guess draw's not a bad deal either because you can also, um, I'll probably pick draw next instead of limit break because I don't think I need the limit break anytime soon. So I think I'll just pick draw in case they have any high level spells I need to get. Which I don't think I do, but. There might be a few I need still. Yeah, you get a rocket engine for defeating that boss. And 30 AP. And plus you get to unseal one of your abilities or whatever. Alright, so yeah, I think I'll unseal draw just in case I need it. There's actually a, a draw point right here too, if you want to get some auras. Oh, magic! I got the Magic Miner Trophy too. So now, I'm only missing three trophies now. Alright, that's all we can do here. Let's go ahead and leave this place. We want to head this way now.
head through this door over here. We're back at the beginning. Uh, we need to go right this time instead of... I didn't mean to do that. Oops. I will have to do that later though. And I think you guys know why too. They got these paintings with like codes on them or whatever. There's a meltdown draw point. Another painting over here. Another painting here, Ignis Fire. And then one over here as well. Sleep. Alright, so all them uh, paintings were given a clue. Uh, we need to pick, um, Vividarium. This one down at the bottom. Viator. In the garden sleeps a messenger. And then the boss appears. Let's take it on. And I think you have to examine every painting in the uh, room as well, if I'm not mistaken, so. And it's boss time against. Trauma. They can draw meltdowns from him. If you don't already have max of those. And speaking of meltdowns, it's probably a good idea to use meltdown on this thing too. So we could just draw cast it. It might be immune to it though. Uh, this boss is susceptible to magic. I got a little drone thing, whatever it was. Go to his meteor. Speed this up a little bit. A little bit. It takes a little while to cast it. Alright, we got it. Nice. Another pulse vanquished. And for defeating that boss, you get an elemental attack, Jay, so... 
Uh, if you want to give that to the GF, you can or whatever, but. And you also get another 30 AP on top of that. All right. <clears throat> now we can unseal another command. Limit break this time, I guess. Why not? Let's see. Um, what was I going to do? I guess we could heal up some. I thought I was going to do something, but I forgot what I was going to do. Anyway, let's continue on this way. I don't, it must not have been important. see yeah here we go that's where we want to be this is exactly where we want to be And it's boss time against Red Giant, uh, which is also an enemy in Final Fantasy 15 as well. Except in 15, it has like a flaming sword. You can draw death from it. Yeah, we're gonna have to use mad. We're gonna have to use meltdown. Speed it up a little bit. Oh, your defense is useless, you fool. Those things are pretty hard in 15, but not hard in this. This thing's pretty hard in 15, but not in this game. Yeah, very, very easy. As like all the other bosses, you just melt down, take it out. They conven they conveniently give you meltdown. In the last boss to take this boss out uh, but majority of the people probably already had meltdown before this dungeon anyway so it didn't even matter and for defeating the boss you get diamond armor which is useless uh, because GFs are useless and you also get 30 AP as well Alright, so I'll probably take on one more boss in this episode. For defeating that boss, you get 30 AP and you get to an unseal another command. Sure, I like to save the game, so sure. Eventually, you'll be able to get all these unlocked anyway, so it's totally irrelevant. It's more of a hassle than anything. Yeah, the prison cell unlocks that door. We need to switch to the other party now. Uh, I have no encounters on, so I don't have to worry about encounters. So I'm not going to GF switch. Okay. No. Alright, the lever has been dispersed. Nice. Now we can switch the other party. And the lever, uh, the chandelier won't fall this time. Remember how the chandelier fell earlier? Well, it won't fall this time.
Let's go back this way. And get ready. And it's boss time against Krista. Spell with a K instead of a C. So it's kind of like a crystal like enemy, I guess you could say. Uh, you can draw a holy from it, which I do not want. <laughs> Alright, we're going to use Meltdown. Oh crap. Counters for a rocket. How dare you cast a rocket at me, you fool! Yeah, there's a bunch of counterattacks apparently. Let's see how it likes Meteor. Spoiler, it won't like Meteor. Yeah, it does not like Meteor, I can tell you that. Flaw damage. Oh crap. Hey, you can't be casting ultimate, you cheater. What the heck, man? You're cheating. That's OP, dude. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> or not. Yeah, this goes down. It goes down with Ultima. Wow. That was weak. Weakest Ultima I've ever seen in any Final Fantasy. <laughs> Rest in peace, Krista. And it's terrible Ultima. It's only because we have such high spirit, though. Anyway, for defeating Krista, you get Elemental Guard, which is really good, actually. Um, if one of your characters doesn't have Elemental Defense, go ahead and give that to one of their GFs, and boom. You're good to go. It's actually not too bad. So actually a good reward for a change. And you also get to unseal one of your powers as well. Of course. Alright, let's continue. Or well, we're not going to continue, but we're going to unseal a power and then... Resurrection? Yeah, sure. In case one of our characters die or whatever. Alright, I'm going to go and end the video here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode where we'll continue on through Ultima Sea's Castle. And later.